Hi, I'm Tammy Cook Endries, and I'm the teacher in residence here at the Exploratorium. And today I'm going to show you a really cool engineering activity for middle school students. A lot of people think that engineering is just for the physical sciences, but it's not. There's some really cool stuff you can do in life science and physiology and biology too. So today, I'm going to show you an activity where students are going to build a circulatory system and then they're going to evaluate it and we're going to start to consider the structure and function of the actual circulatory system and why it works the way it does. So here's what we have. We give the students straws and latex gloves and rubber bands, scissors for cutting the tubing, balloons, all sorts of sizes of aquarium tubing, a funnel to get the water into the system, and a lot of duct tape. Then we give them a cutout of a human body. This is about the size of a four-year-old, and we let them go. So what their job is, is to build a circulatory system with a pump that will get fluid to all the different parts of the body. It has to go through the lungs, that's one of the rules, and it has to hit all the way down to the toes and the fingers. So this is actually a circulatory system that a sixth grader here at the Exploratorium built. And let me show you how it works. So this is their pump. And if you watch carefully, what happens to the blood in the system when I use the pump? Here it goes. Can you see that? So a couple things are happening here. You can see the blood not quite getting down to this part. You can see the blood getting out here and if you watch carefully, you can even see it filling up this balloon. And you can see it skipping a little bit, but kind of getting down to this foot as well. Oh, there it goes into this foot. So after the students build their circulatory systems, I ask them what they think worked well and what didn't. And what this student said were a couple of things. They said, well, the blood got all the way out here and it got all the way out here, which takes a pretty strong pump to do that. So they were really proud of that. They were also proud of the fact that they built a system that has a central line and then it has splits off. And they thought that that was pretty cool too. The other thing that they thought was cool was once the blood went out, it actually came back into their pump, which is a good thing. When I asked them what was wrong with the circulatory system, they had some comments there too. So one of the things they said is, there are a lot of leaks. That would be pretty bad in the circulatory system. The other thing they said, was that the blood doesn't quite make it out. And if the blood didn't make it out to the hands or to the feet, then those cells would die. And that wouldn't be so good either. The other thing they said was really interesting. And that is that when the blood goes out, it comes straight back in this way. And even a kid who doesn't know much about the circulatory system can figure out that that's not gonna be a good thing. And here's why. When the blood goes out, it's carrying all sorts of good stuff with it. Oxygen and nutrients for the cells, when it comes back, it's supposed to carry the bad stuff away, the carbon dioxide and all the other eh, nastiness that needs to get back out. But in this system, it goes out and comes back and goes out and comes back and doesn't get to refuel with the good stuff. So that's not such a good thing. In your real circulatory system, you actually have valves in your heart, which are one-way doors, and those open and close. And so what happens is once the blood goes out, it can't get back in to that side of the heart. In the new NGSS standards, modeling is something that we need to do a lot. What kids need to know is, number one, how to build a model and make it work. They need to know how to improve a model. What they also need to know is the limitations of a model. We can't use surgical tubing and duct tape and balloons to model an actual circulatory system. It just doesn't work. But what we can do is build a model find out what its limitations are, and find out more about the structure and function of the circulatory system.